Hello world, it's me, Jamung Bai. For today's episode, I'll be building something that I almost missed out on. Luckily, I found it at a pretty good price. I'm not entirely familiar with this brand, but I'm definitely familiar with this character. And that's Sun Wukong. This is Kong Kong from MS General, pretty much a robot version of the Great Sage himself, Sun Wukong. Everything you see right here is what you get inside the box, and when it's all done, it will all look like this. But we'll get to that later. Let's build up!
All right, let's take a look at Kong Kong. I'll be honest with you, I almost shut the whole thing down. This shit was frustrating. There's a brighter side to all of it, and it's actually how great this whole thing turned out to be. All that aside, this kit kind of set a bar. I need other companies to make more kits like this one, but I'll throw you a curveball. I would also love for companies to not make kits like this one. I'll get to that when I wrap things up. Listen, the whole thing took nearly two and a half hours of my time, and I probably wasted most of it trying to make sure all of these tight ass parts stayed together, oftentimes ending with me bashing the ever loving shit out of them with a blunt object. Mind you, they weren't coming apart once you got them together, but make sure you got it right because they're a bitch to pry open. I started out annoyed with just building the head. I thought the bottom part was secure, but when I proceeded to add the crown, try again buddy, you might want to double check your work. There was another moment with the legs, just trying to keep the upper thighs together. That's when I resorted to bashing the hell out of it with the tape measure until the parts connected. I mean, it did work. I mean, it worked a little. But the party really got started when I got to the motorcycle. Woo! Parts wouldn't close all the way, and I ended up having to break out the pliers, which the only ones I had nearby were Lyman pliers. Why the hell did I do that? That's probably when I decided to throw it all back in the box and roll credits. Just a little squeeze of those pliers chipped away at some of the edges. All of that chaos just to fit this gold piece right here. I literally stopped the video, I cooled off, got some air, grabbed another pair of pliers, and went back to it. But in the end, I just ended up sanding the area down because the gap wouldn't close at all. It kind of worked out. So, uh, yay me? I mean, it worked out. I mean, um, it was still some bullshit. Funny enough, because all the parts were tight, that honestly makes this easily one of the most solid kits I've ever built, and that's unbelievable. This guy is solid, and so is the motorcycle. I'm looking at Kong Kong, and he's got that main character, hot-blooded tokusatsu hero thing going on mainly because of the shade of red that they're using. And because he has a bike, he's definitely channeling some Kamen Rider vibes. He also resembles this character from this series called Grand Caesar, especially with him having gold accents on his body. I can totally get behind anything that has Tokusatsu vibes. His motorcycle's pretty cool. It's a unibike, portraying Sun Wukong's Nimbus Cloud. I'm not going to butcher the name, so I'll just put it up here on the screen. I love how there are cloud parts all over the bike, and they're sculpted in the way that the Nimbus cloud is drawn in media. I'd imagine that you're supposed to roll wheels on this unibike, but remember what I said earlier? Everything is tight as hell on both of these models. Both Kong Kong and his bike share some green and blue accents that do something really cool when you shut the lights off. Once you put it under a black light, they give off a glow, and I absolutely love that. There weren't any decals inside the box, but I'd say that this is a great representation of the image on the box. I added some panel lining alternating between ultra fine point markers and panel line accent color. I tried to do a subtle thing using brown accent color for the gold parts, but I just didn't like the way it turned out. Accessory wise, this kit is light, but in exchange for the Nimbus bike, I guess it's understandable. Kong Kong comes with a pair of grabbing hands and articulated ones, and his legendary staff, which I won't butcher the name, so I'll also put that on the screen. Staying true to the source material, his staff actually extends. And if you haven't noticed, Kong Kong's staff also shares the same green color, which means it glows under a black light. There's definitely some articulation to explore here, so let's check the flex.
If there was anything I was truly unaware of, it would have been how tall these models actually are. Let's do some size comparisons. Here's Kong Kong right next to Nanoblock Mega Man, Kotobukiya Wonder Woman, Cross Silhouette Gundam RX-78 F00, Sonic the Hedgehog, and one of my favorites from Season 2, the Lowe's Mecha Sun Wukong. And last but not least, here's Kong Kong's bike next to two maestro Harley Davidson motorcycles. I probably had way more negative things to say about building this model than I've ever had, but looking at everything once it was finished made me happy in the end. I really love posing this guy and taking pictures of these two models. This is a very solid kit and none of it feels cheap and flimsy like other kits that I've built in the past, which is what I wish other companies would take from this kit overall. I didn't need the Sun Wukong level punishment just for building these models, so that's definitely something other brands should not take from this. This is my first entry with MS General, and sadly it wasn't the best. If this is what I have to look forward to when I'm building another one of their kits, I'm looking at you Tong Tong, then I'll just keep those experiences away from the review table. And that wraps up another episode of Jamang Bai Builds. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you're new around here, I hope you decide to stick around because there's more on the way. I'll catch you in the next episode. But in the meantime, keep on building. Peace!